Hey guys, this is Diplostag here, and today we're going to be looking at the Ga Safari LTD Gas Stormis as of 2013. And starting off with some quick facts about Gas Stormis, it lived in Wyoming, in the United States, in Wyoming, and in Europe, France, Germany, and England. And it's was it was part of the family Neorornithus. And probably Acerniforms and, and Ansers forms. Sorry. Meaning of the meaning of its name is Trim. In it's a giant in Norse mythology. So that's basically what the name means. And it was named by Edward Drinker Culp in 1874. And if you're an evolutionist. It lived in the Paleocene and Eocene epochs of the early Territory period, and its size was two meters, otherwise six and a half feet long. And its lifestyle was a hunter, and the species is Gastornis gigantica. And if you are an evolutionist, this actually was uh, uh, related to dinosaurs, and. Uh, I f I'm sorry if I forgot the creationist timeline. I think, yeah, it's 6,000 to 3,000 years ago. So now let's get into the model itself. Starting off with the pose, it's looking down on something. And well, maybe it's looking down on a, uh, a mammal or a mouse or some kind of small animal that it's about to attack. Or maybe it's about to get into a running stride over s to get some prey. Sorry that guys um, and so yeah I think that the pose is dynamic and very fluid and I think that this pose is great for a large bird so now let's get into the paint scheme and the paint scheme is uh, very like it pops out to you it's stunning uh, I love the blue on the head and then the red eyes that is really cool and then the yellow beak and the tongue and the roof of the mouth are sculpted and painted in a pink color. Let's get my camera to focus on that. It doesn't want to focus. There we go. Oh. Sorry, you guys like had a hint of that for a second and then it decided not to do it anymore. And then the rest of the figure is gray and then the wings have a black on the frill, or the like, the bottom part of the wing is like black on them, and then it's a beige color down to the legs. Then you got kind of this like scaly impression there, scaly impression there, and then the feet are very splayed out, and um, the three toes on it, and then the little uh, dew claw there, and then the musculature in the legs, and the knee, it's really nice, the, the feathers, very neatly sculpted and painted, so I guess we're, we've just moved into detail, uh, let's focus on that skin part, there we go, so there's the skin part of it, it looks really nice, the nostril there, and the beak, so yeah, and it does have a cloaker, which is uh, the, it, where excrements come out of. So there's that, the feathers, then the black kind of uh, frill of feathers to the top of the head. So yeah, and as far as uh, scientific accuracy goes, Safari has knocked this one out of the park. Very accurate. Don't see any flaws with it whatsoever. Sadly, this figure is being retired for this year, uh, which is a shame, but uh, maybe we'll get a new Gastornis, and maybe it'll be better than this one, but I think this one is very cool, and it's uh, on Safari right now. Pick yours as quick as you can, because they are going by fast. So you can go to safariltd.com to pick your Gastornis, and, or amazon.com. So yeah. I really love this figure, I highly recommend it, and I'll see you guys in the next review. I'm Diplostag, please like, comment, and subscribe, 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!